It has a really interesting theme because there are a ton of board games out there that feature colonial themes, but this one is actually more of an anti-colonial game because you're actually going to be playing as the indigenous tribes defending your land against the colonizers. And the way that this game works is that each player is going to be playing as their own indigenous warrior, each with their own special abilities, and every player is going to be defending their own land against the invaders. This is a semi-cooperative game because all the players do have a common threat, but each player is trying to defend their own land, and of course your own land is a little bit more important to you. Each player is going to have a track that leads from their side of the board towards the center of the board and located at the center of the board is a train on a train track and every time that a wagon makes it up any of the player's tracks all the way to the center it's going to move that train one step forward. This is the mechanism that ties all the players together because you don't want any of those wagons to make their way to the center of the board because if that train reaches the end of the track then all the players lose. The game does play over a series of rounds and at the start of each round you're going to be drawing a colonizer card and then you're going to be resolving its effects. Each player also gets to draw up a hand of cards from their draw deck and these are going to have a whole bunch of different actions and abilities on them for you to push back the colonizers or modify the board in different ways and players will be able to play any of these cards as soon as they get into their hand. In addition to playing these cards each player also gets one action that they can spend to either trade with another player, gift something that they have to another player, or attack any of the wagons out on the board, or to attack the fort, which is the objective of the game. And if you're able to do that, then you have successfully fended off the colonizers. But in order to attack the fort, you're going to be collecting different fire tokens and arrowheads. These arrowheads can be assigned to your own personal player board in order to unlock passive effects, whereas the fire tokens are more like a resource that you'll be spending in order to dish damage. If this one sounds interesting to you, you can check it out, I have it linked in the description below. And if you follow along, you'll also get a digital soundtrack added to your pledge completely for free.